and good afternoon. As you guys saw this morning, I put out a jug of sun tea and it actually, I've had to move it out front because the sun has moved away. So this is what it's looking like now. Much, much darker. I think we're good to go. I'm gonna bring that inside, but I gotta put you down, this is heavy. I'm glad I put that cap on though. Can you guys see? See all that stuff on the lid there? That would have been in the tea. No bueno. But it looks good. It's definitely warm. Oh, I'm excited. I went with Earl Grey tea. I'm not sure how that's gonna go. But this sat for about three and a half hours. Mmm, smells so good. It's another super nice day out, but before I can enjoy any of that, I need to put away all of my laundry, do a little bit of laundry, and kind of get all of my spaces organized because I've got a crazy busy weekend coming up with a lot of working hours, and I'm just more clear-minded when my space is clear, so gonna do all of that for right now. Look at how much laundry I had on my floor of just clean and too lazy to put it away. All of this, it was just sitting on my floor. Just couldn't put it away. I've even already put away like a small pile of shirts before I was like, took a step back and was like, oh my gosh. So, cleaned up now. I feel much better. All done now. The bed is clear, except for that's like a few things of Alex's that somehow crept into my laundry, which happens from time to time. Now, I have to figure out what I want to make to take to work for the next few days. So, I think I'm gonna hit the internet, um, rack my brain, see what's easily transportable, if I have to go buy stuff, and that kind of a thing. Alright, I did some good exploring, I think I found some good options for lunch and dinner to bring with me to work. Yes, I've braided my hair. I wanted it off of the back of my neck. I don't know if I'll wear it like this for my game or not, but just got off the phone with Alex and he finally got in the shipment that he was waiting for. They told him it was gonna be there between two and four, or like three and 4.30, something like that. And the driver called and was like, man, I hope it's all right. I'm not gonna be there till six. So he's a little perturbed. I told him I would start dinner. We're gonna do a blue apron, of course. Spinach, pesto, gnocchi is what we're going for tonight. Preparing everything right now. Right, I made that solo, like I said, so that Alex and I, we can eat at like a regular time. Super easy to do. I forgot to add the starchy cooking water from the gnocchi because I forgot to take it out of the gnocchi, but it's not like a massive deal breaker. We didn't have any like regular size bowls, so this is what I got. I think it looks pretty good. We are headed into our game now. We are a little bit running on the late side. Just we both lost track of what time it was. Um, and I'm pretty sure I just heard the game before us ending their fields, which means I'm gonna have zero time to warm up. And I'm pretty sure um, it's co-ed, so girls, boys, yada yada. I'm pretty sure for girls we have zero subs. Two of us have to remain on the field the whole time and I'm pretty sure there's only two of us. Excited. So that was a rough game. If you guys couldn't tell by the ball mark I just showed you on my leg, um, stopped a pretty good shot with that one. It was um, it was physical. It was high skill. It made me realize some stupid mistakes I made. But time for a shower, and then we're gonna head to bed. I have to work tomorrow night at Froyo, but I'll bring you guys along with me during the day. I will see you tomorrow.